Let's begin now. Let's begin with the political unrest in Edo states, as it appears that there is no retreat, no surrender regarding the feud between Governor Godwin Obaseki and his deputy Philip Shwaibu. The crisis has taken another twist following the decision of the Governor Obaseki to bar his deputy from Government House Benin City. Shwaibu got the shocking development when he got to his office this Monday and found that the gates and the main entrance leading to the story building was locked with chains and heavy padlocks. While he and his aides waited for about an hour before leaving, Shabu reportedly made frantic efforts to reach the governor without success. So, who blinks first in this blockbuster tragedy? I am at the home office now, and here, yeah, and the gate is locked. I am padlocking the building. The I'm padlocking the gate in the chain, and put the outer gate and the inner one, they padlock and chain it. The governor said they should lock it. Like I'm using the office for something else. I have not moved to anywhere. Nobody has given me a letter to move to anywhere. I am, nobody has given me a letter. So, if the governor says I've moved, I have not moved. I have not moved. The governor did not give me a letter. Nobody has given me a letter to move. So, how will I move out of my office? And the end the gate is locked. I'm padlocked. So, let me. I don't know. So to call, I call the governor is not picking. So you call the governor that I didn't move because I didn't get any letter to move. Only the civil servant got letter to move. I'm told that the civil servant they give him letter from the office of uh, uh, HOS to move out of this place. But me, I didn't get any letter to move. So I'm here. They should come and open the gate, please. I call the governor that I'm at the gate. They should please come and open the gate. My last time was on this matter was as if I had um, a stake in Edo politics, but then the, the deputy governor, the way he's been treated, just gives the um, lacuna in our constitution uh, gives no um, responsibility, no function. It's just like a spare tire. Mm -hmm. That's why a deputy governor can be so humiliated. That position can be so denigrated in this way. It's, it's just terrible. I, I'm not a fan of um, of uh, Shaibu. I've never spoken to him in my life. You know, in fact, when I saw him for the first time, I didn't recognize him. Mm -hmm. He was the one who dragged my shirt. So I I can't. You remember now that day during the JKB uh, when the uh, Tribune celebrated. Sounds good. Okay, okay. Yeah. So after I dragged my shirt and I just walked, there, someone said, "That's the deputy governor." We don't know it, though. I didn't, uh, and that was the last time we saw. Um, the late governor of uh, your state. Yeah, he said Ajimobi. Ajimobi. That was his, uh, the last public mm. uh, outing. Out yes. Yeah. You know, he was even accusing you of not calling him not and calling all that. Him, yeah. When you are saying, he said, 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 he but he's been in the news repeatedly now for the way the governor has been embarrassing him, humiliating him, as if he's someone of no value. Mm. No matter what people may feel about him, it diminishes you as a person. As a person, if you are happy with what Obaseki is doing to, um, to his deputy, it shows that you, you are inherently not a good person. If this is something that you rejoice about, you are happy that a governor is behaving like this. I mean, this this does not represent maturity, in my view. Uh -uh. 
<sighs> because I, 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 I've, I've never seen a governor that went this far. You know, to me, it's, oh, you should have you gone to court to preempt your removal. Mm. Instead of now removing you now, I'll we'll make life you so that maybe on your, own, you so that you now, you, on your own, you will now go. Yes. I'll make you useless. Maybe that's what uh, you're yes. uh, 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 trying to do. The game plan. Now, the, well, talking about that, uh, that uh, what was it called? The, the place he was told to relocate to. Yes. The letter was sent to the PAMSEC that notifying him that, look, the, governor, the deputy governor will no longer be using these offices to use somewhere else. And I learned that the place they sent him to used to be procurement office mm. and located near the Fort Mechanized Brigade of the Nigerian Army. If you are relocating your deputy, somebody that you share the joint ticket with. Sometimes it is the it is the extra legwork of a deputy. It is the political capital that a deputy yes. has that enables some governors to, to win, win elections. Yes. Even presidents. Mm -hmm. We've seen deputies even more popular than the principal. Their, their, their principal. That the people warmed up yes. to them. This person is a political deputy. He has more gravitas. Because the other person was not even government. a politician. Yes. Was even a politician. To so even win the primaries of his party at that time, Osho mm. Mole had to put his foot down that this is the person that I, I want. Wanted, yeah. Remember, his cabinet was even divided. Mm. Some wanted Otubu. Mm. The... But Osho Mole used his uh, political weight yeah. as the governor to make sure that the primaries went to emerged. a man who later became thoroughly ungrateful to him. I'm sure that Osho Mole, where he is, is full of regrets because what has he gained by bringing uh, a man who has no regard for him? I saw them smiling at one another. I said, "This, these are just political smiles." Mm. Because the insult that Osho Mole got mm. <laughs> in the days leading to the election of a, a, this, a, this, a second term election. Um, of Obaseki. I don't think he has ever received it anywhere. And that's a man that is talk his neck out to, to make governor. So it's unfortunate. Uh, we don't have to bother ourselves about some of the issues. Uh, I want to be deputy governor. I mean, I want to be governor. Okay. This person doesn't want me. He has not even come out to let us know who he wants. Nobody knows who Obaseki wants to support to be deputy governor. I mean, to be governor of the governor. state. But he's just humiliating this person, uh, left, right, and center. It's, mm. uh, it's just sad. Mm. Okay, even though uh, so the state government is as brutal as even engineering some media houses to sack some journalists in this account, like today now, another head has rolled now in a those state just because of uh, this uh, reportage. Will journalists now see their work now and refuse to do their work? In fact, the most endangered species we have in Nigeria today are journalists. Especially those who have taken up appointments in government. Their lifespan depends solely at the discretion of the governors or the president, as the case may be. I think the first thing, we said it on this program, I think a couple of weeks ago, that there's something lacking in a man that is supposed to be refined. And then he decided to go and fight the battle in the gutter. Like a former, a former governor of Lagos said, there are, there are depths you don't descend to as a matter of courtesy, of whatever is your office. I think Mr. Obaseki has thrown all caution to the winds. Maybe because he realized that given the computation of the Nigeria, Nigeria situation as we speak, and is in the PDP, there is nothing further to aspire to. So he decided to go for broke and do whatever he wanted. But like I said, as long as he went to the PDP and APC is still in government at the federal level, it's going to be extremely difficult. Don't forget, even in the 20th election, APC won, I think, two Senate seats in Edo, including the one that he will be aspiring for. But besides, his own election is soft season. So I think what we need to worry about is just to let this be a lesson to so we'll be godfathers. That uh, bringing a technocrat mm. doesn't mean that you cannot be brutal. Mm. 
You cannot pretend that because somebody is a technocrat. It will or, not be political. Yeah. Just don't assume that will be will just be bowing to you and let you run him aground. This man has shown that when it comes to streets, he has he has the same street cred as his godfather. Don't forget, he ran his father out of town for a while. But he now was rehabilitated by coming to the Senate now. Mm -hmm. Thank you. that has been sending solidarity to welcome Babaji Day, Colorado to Taju. Yes, thank you. Sack. From across the world, Europe, mm -hmm. America, everywhere across the country that have been sending your messages in. I can acknowledge it. I've seen them. They've been pouring in. Thank you. Thank you for the encouragement yeah. to welcome BKO in. BKO. Thank you.